So it's been a pretty significant change to everybody's life. Suddenly there's no bike racing. Goals that get you out of bed in the morning, they're gone. Quarantine has taken away lots of things. Being able to do stuff on a whim. Just visit the grocery store. Spontaneously going to a coffee shop. I think just the uncertainty. And the lack of a plan. When I don't have an objective. It's just something as athletes we need a date. Found it challenging to stay motivated with all the uncertainty. For so long I've just been racing my bike. Get up, eat, ride, stretch, sleep, repeat. The same pattern. Now what am I gonna do with my day? Got some little projects that are going on around the house. Get all of the trim. Um, yeah, there's a lot of trim in the house. Chores. Bikes, helmets, clothing. Clearing trees. Yard work. Fix my back step. Got my truck fixed. Honestly, I don't think my bikes have ever been this clean. Time is just hoovered up by airports and lift rides and taxis. When you're not doing that, it's incredible how much energy you have and how much you can get done. Usually this is high time for us, racing season, we're traveling, bouncing around the planet. I've never really been able to spend this, this amount of time in one spot. Home for a couple of months. Spending spring at home, that's something I haven't done in, I guess, nine or 10 years now. It's maybe been over 20 years. I can't remember the last time. The flowers, the cherry blossoms, the hills are all green. I kind of got back into gardening. Gardening. Garden tour time. Here we have some salad beds. Here we got some garlic. It's basil and it's delicious. Something that was kind of a mess. There's a fair few seedlings here. More salads, some radishes. A bunch of kale. Sunflowers. Don't want sunflowers, my kale. Scallions growing. Got some poppies behind. A lot of kale. <laughs> yeah, gardening. It's been fun. We've been making a lot of things during our time at home, haven't we guys? Yeah. We made a bottle rocket. Here we go. Three, Put a climbing wall in the middle of our living room. He's uh, doing a great job already learning. Uh... <laughs> so one of the great things I've been able to do is spend more time with my senior dog, Louie. Set up this kid's cart. I call it his chariot. This makes it a lot easier for me to get him to the river so we can swim less time on his old paws and joints. How you doing, Louie? Loves it. We're always busy traveling all around the globe, racing. Really take a toll on your interpersonal life uh, outside your teammates. Spending time with my fiance after years of being on the road. Friends and family that I've never been able to spend this much time with. More time with my wife. I think it's strengthened our relationship. We have learned how to be parents. We've had a lot more time to go on family walks. Um, being back home here uh, with both my parents 24-7 at the 23 years old uh, has been challenging for sure, even though I love them. <laughs> Having the kids home and everybody on top of each other. Uh, the hardest part about isolation is probably uh, just not having people over, uh, not going over to people's places for barbecues. Uh, a lot of my family and friends live out of the state I'm in. I think the most challenging situation is really not being able to see my teammates. Not seeing as many friends as I'm used to. We're all uh, social beings and we need that interaction. I'm a bit of an introvert. I appreciate my alone time. I'm sort of an introvert. You no, know, I live alone. It's been sort of a treat in some ways. I actually don't find uh, isolation to be that challenging. More time to play video games. More time to read. More time to think. One big project I've been working on is uh, this custom PC. One of the projects I'm uh, deep into. I've had to take off the intake manifold, carburetor. Organize my toolbox. Workbench, screwing stand. Smart trainer. Second Garmin. Intake fan hole. Two fans sandwishing the radiator. Um, it will turn into a hat. Got this all cleaned out. Put the lifter in oil. Rolling cleaning products. But it turns out that I love puzzling. This is my Roland electronic drum set. I can now. Do this for 40 seconds. I received a sourdough starter. I have named it the Godfather. I bought a coffee machine. Spent way too much money on it. The Louisville style IPA that I brewed up. I'm going to deliver these to our team doc to deliver them to his co-workers at the hospital. If you're an essential worker out there, thank you for everything you've done. Quarantine has also given me a lot in a unexpected way. The time and the space to reflect on why I ride my bike. I had a little bit of a rocky relationship with racing, I think, mentally, and my confidence was pretty low. I came home, and like a lot of other people, I just fell into a motivational slump. I decided to challenge myself to remember why I love riding my bike, to just go out and ride. It's just freedom for me. And it took months of quarantine 
to remember that. Over these last few weeks, I've found my motivation for why I like to ride. I feel like I've changed. Changed by not taking things too, too seriously. Taught me to relax again. Taught me to enjoy my mornings, have my coffee, stay off social media for an hour. It's given me the chance to understand that things don't necessarily need to happen immediately. I need to be better about being patient. You realize you can't control everything. A lot of making lists. This side I'm worried about and I can do something. This side I'm worried about and I can't do anything. But I can control how I react to it. Be more tolerant of when things don't go exactly my way. What have you learned during this time? What have I learned? I've learned a lot in this time. I don't know if I've learned anything. I've tried to use this time to reflect and try to enjoy the most important things in life. Everything in life does not need to be perfect to be happy. I've been able to really <laughs> detach from the concept of normal. Nothing we do as athletes really is normal. We put ourselves in situations of stress and and hardship really in a way to grow. I've been really impressed with how everybody's stepped up. Just be in there not getting too discouraged. One of the neatest things I've seen during this whole time is, is our team handle this change, all the novelty, the uncertainty, the anxiety, and just try to perform like we do in sport. Swimming in a sea of life, all searching for the haunting vibes of a wind inside the loser's mind. Travel from far and wide to chase a Selfish pride, come join us. We rarely say hi. Uh, and hopefully, soon we'll be connecting in person. Hello. How are you doing? You know, I really miss going to the bike races, seeing all the fans. Sure hope we can get back to it soon. I miss you all. Hope to see you soon. for the fans, they get to cheer us on soon. See you at the bike races.